Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is how to fix your tech. Now today I thought I'd do a video on how to change the desktop background on your school computer or work computer that doesn't let you do it already. Now it's a fairly easy procedure. I just thought I'd do it because personally I hate a desktop that looks like, well, don't worry about the icons, but I hate a desktop that looks like that. So I thought I'd just teach you. So, but until then, it's time for the intro. Alrighty everyone, so before we start, I thought I might mention, unfortunately there is a compromise. So uh, when you are um, changing your desktop, unfortunately every time it shuts down or restarts, eventually this bloody desktop will come back. So uh, to prevent that, all you can do is just not restart it and shut it down. Luckily the procedure is quite easy, so if you do, need to do an update, you can. You just have to do it again. Um, but sleeping it or closing the lid, which is the same thing, will not reset the desktop. So as long as you can get away with that for a, for a while without updating every day, it should be okay. But if you have to shut down or restart every day, this video is not for you and you're gonna have to do something a bit more technical. So let's start it off. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go on to your browser. Now, whatever you have, Edge, uh, Chrome, it's all fine. You just have to go on to a browser. So just go into your browser. If you have to, choose your account. And then search up Download Firefox. Uh, should be the first one, that one's completely fine. Hit none of them are ads. <laughs> and click download Firefox here. Now, if it's Chrome, you should get a download message here. If it's Edge or Firefox, which it won't be Firefox because this is what we're installing, it'll be up there. Now all you have to do is click here. Now I won't run you through this because I've already got it on and it is a pain to install. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to click no here, but you just have to click yes, it shouldn't come up with this, but if it does, it tends to go through with your um, school or work password anyway, it doesn't really need admin. So I'll just click no here. And it also works with, by clicking no, so you know, pretty easy. <laughs> and then you just uh, click install, I, it says update for me here but you just have to click install and it pretty much does everything you need. All right, so once you've got Firefox open, I'll show you the two ways you can install, or oh, sorry, not install, but put a background on your computer. So the first way is you go into Firefox itself and then you search up an image. So I'll just go the, uh, the favorite, Phil Swift. Click images and get the photo you need. So that's a pretty good one, but you can also get a higher resolution one like that. So all you have to do then is you have to right click on the image and select set image as desktop background. Click that and you've got position. So you got center like that, tile like that, stretch like that, fill like that and fit so I tend to do fit but all these last three options are pretty good so just click set it back set desktop background and there we go we got our new desktop background but let's just say you want to use a desktop picture you've already got on your computer it's easy as to so all you have to do is you have to select your picture. So I'm going to go into File Explorer in this case because not everyone has their picture on their desktop. And then you just have to go Pictures. And you have to go right click your image. So we're just going to do Jaden's dad here. And we have to click Open With, hover over Open With 
and then click Firefox. And then what we have to do is we have to right click it and then click set it image as desktop background. Select what you want. I'm gonna use fill for this one because I don't really want borders. And then you click set desktop background. And there we go. A local file is your desktop. So I hope this helped you out. Please leave a like and subscribe if it did. Hopefully you don't need to shut down and restart your computer and you might even just get lucky whereas you don't have to actually um, set it every time you restart. Unfortunately, I'll have to work it out why or what they're doing to, to reset it every time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.